I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not good enough. Ugh. We really are our own worst critics. I, I once had a professor who said that it takes time for our aptitude to live up to our tastes. Meaning, quite simply, you're going to like things that you can't produce. You're, you're going to be interested in drawing, and the first drawing you make is meh <laughs> quality at best. And that's okay. That's okay because it's, it's an iterative process where you practice, you get better over time. You don't immediately become Rembrandt. But after you paint a bit, you know, maybe you'll give them a run for their money. I'm noticing this with the videos I'm making. It's, it's not, like I said earlier, it's, it's not hard to come up with ideas for videos. That's the easy part. It's after you film them, let's say yesterday, I filmed seven different videos and edited most of them, not all of them. And then going through them today, I'm like, okay, I'll post this one now. This one's a good one for today. And I, I watch through it. I was going to say read through it. I watch through it. And I, eh, not quite what I want to say anymore. Not really delivered. Whatever the message was, the, the message wasn't quite delivered in a way that I enjoy watching or that I feel was absolutely genuine or or I didn't cover on the right points. And, and so I, I almost trashed that video altogether. I'm like, okay, we'll refilm it today. Maybe. Maybe we do a different topic. And so it's like you're... It's like I'm second-guessing myself in in a creative process. There's no wrong thing to post. There's people making videos about all kinds of controversial stuff. And... It's not what I'm interested in doing, but I have to look at that and give myself permission to just post something ridiculous, uh, to post something that I think is of lower quality than I'm capable of making, which sounds like I'm not giving it 100%. That's not, that's not the point here. Uh, I guess to phrase it another way, I'm trying to film at a quality level that... I haven't yet figured out how to film at. And that's that's fine. That's part of practice, right? It's part of growth. But man, am I good about picking apart what I produce. Just nitpicking little things like, ah, while delivering this message, you should stand more like this. Or maybe add in this point. Or you should refilm it because you forgot this one sentence. <laughs> I'm wondering where else in life I do that. Where else in life do I hold myself back because of self-critical habits? Where else do we all do that? In conversation, in creativity, at work. Where can we afford to stop doing that? In this case, I think here... Being creative on YouTube. Being creative in writing. Oh my goodness. You <laughs> you write one page and then you edit it. You basically rewrite a page. That is brutal. That is, I, I'm thinking, I'm trying to come up with some kind of way to streamline that process. Like maybe you write a chapter and then eat something, make a drink, and then come back, edit that chapter right there. So that way you know it's your best work, rather than coming back to it, say, a few months later when you finish the manuscript, whatever it is, and now you have to rewrite it because your, your writing skill has advanced, and it, it, you could say it a better way. I don't know. Maybe just have a little more mercy for myself. Just make something. Throw it out there. Move on. <laughs>
it's there. <laughs> Make another video as an edit later. Like, who, who cares? I think that's the solution. We need to stop second-guessing our creativity and our creative skills. I think it doesn't help either when you're stressed about anything in your life. Like you're going to be overly critical of the stuff you produce if you're stressed about something else. Maybe you have a deadline coming up or an argument with someone close or a messy room that you're being creative in. You like how I look up and then, and then come up with that point. My room is super clean. Yeah. <laughs> but just, just remember that. Keep that in mind. If you're a little bit stressed, you're going to be more critical of your work. And take a deep breath and love yourself for actually making the time to be creative. I think that's the saving grace in all of this. Because if you beat yourself up too much during the creative process, afterwards, critiquing the work, you're not going to come back and be creative again. You're going to give up because there's only negativity associated with it. And then just be patient. Things will get better as it goes along. You'll get better. I'll get better. Everyone will get better. We'll all be Rembrandt. And I don't know, why do we use Rembrandt as the example for painting? When I think of Rembrandt, I think of toothpaste. Someone explain that one. Is, was there a toothpaste brand or something for that? I'd, I don't know. I'm going to go now. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go be creative. Love yourself. Bye. And if I may